It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. But to all of us, it was a waste of time. That happened in 1995 at my eighth grade graduation at St. Joseph's Catholic School. And we had this inside the church, right? Many of our parents and friends were there. And you know what? We thought that it was inappropriate, but it was hilarious. And even the priest laughed. But that was graduation in the 90s. I mean, with our families there. I mean, we took photos. When I graduated Sacramento State University, I took a photo. When I graduated medical school, I took a photo. Because... I was glad to have graduated and I did so in a shirt and tie, just like most of you guys did when you graduated college, because you wanted people to be proud of the moment. And most of you young ladies did the same thing. You have your graduation photo on with professional wear. Now we're living in the era of clout and um, everybody doesn't look at things the same, especially Terrica Williams. Who? Now, I definitely really appreciate people who go to college and especially in the master's programs and things like that. It's hard work. Um, upper level degrees and professional degrees are hard to achieve. And Terrica Williams, she definitely graduated, right? I can't be mad at that. But she took this particular photo. <laughs> Now, the reason why we have to put the snake around her body at Florida A&M is because she took it butt naked. Jesus Christ. That's right. On the campus. After getting her master's degree, I believe in social work, education, something like that. Now, she did write this on Instagram. Dating music. There's a lot of assumptions that have come with me accepting my body. A lot of people question my capabilities and intelligence solely based on how I choose to dress. As I'm standing here with my master's degree at the tender age of 24, I am living proof that clothes do not define me. I encourage everybody to embrace their bodies and, out, and step outside social norms. So let me just let me just say this. If this is a photo that you want to take, albeit risky because you just got a master's degree and I'm pretty sure that you want to use that master's group degree to go into the public or private sector. It's it's not a good way of starting off that thing, right? You you can take this particular photo in your own particular residence. Again, you're going to be a professional, so having a nude photo is not going to be very well, right? It's not going to do very well. She's a master's in counselor education, so you're going to be dealing with kids children maybe families and they're gonna see you naked on social media so but now I, I wonder why use the school that gave you the degree that helps you get thousands of dollars of scholarships why would you why would you take a naked photo from there because you know what you don't care you you, you don't care about the school now let me just say this fam you has just received, um, you know, because they talked about this in the front of the Rattler statue, right? So this is what FAMU has has said. They are going to investigate it. Um, they say that Florida a and is aware of post circulating on social media of a student photographed in front of the Rattler statue, statue on campus. The university is aware of the picture taken and is currently investigating the incident. Let me just say this. Something needs to happen to her, okay? It does. It's a, it's a disgrace. If you want to do that kind of shit, do it on your own time. But to do it in front of the university, stupid. not only do you embarrass the university, you embarrass our people who helped um, fund the university, the state of Florida. You embarrass the, the black women that come there, the black men that come there, and every other person that comes from that particular institution. Again, you put yourself above the university because you wanted some attention because you got a master's degree in education. Let me just tell you this. Florida A&M has um, some, some competitive majors there, in particular in engineering, all right? You have chemical engineering at FAMU, electrical engineering at FAMU. There is the FAMU School of Law, all right? There's also the FAMU College of Pharmacy. 
degrees, which in my opinion are much more strenuous than what you're talking about here. Are, do you see people doing that there? No. Are young women going from the College of Law taking photos butt naked in front of a of the Rattler status? No. The Pharmacy College status st statue? No. That's you doing that. All because what? Because you want to show off your ass. And see, this is this is something that I want to talk about, and this is not to be offensive, but I've noticed that sisters, some that are coming from these professional programs, are taking the same sort of photos of what you would call urban chicks. They're still trying to show off the voluptuous side of them so that you can't even differentiate who you're dealing with. It's no different than like Meg the Stallion or Lizzo or Cardi B. You know, instead of being a woman that worked hard to gain something like that, you still want to represent yourself in the same light as an IG model. But then at the same time, when somebody is saying that they're sexualizing black women, you're going to have a problem with that. If people start talking about sisters in a negative, uh, negative way, you're going to have a problem with that. But at the same time, you don't even care about the image that you're leaving for the community that have helped you get to where you're at. You went to an HBCU and graduated. That's awesome. But why, why, does, why does your buffoonery have to affect that institution? And I'm going to tell you why. Because as a woman, you know or you believe that nothing will happen to you. Let's, let's talk about black men. How many of you black men are willing to graduate from Florida A&M and take a picture, just drop your draws and, you know, get a, get a Woody and snap a picture and say, you know what? My, 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 my D does not define me of what I can do. How many of you would do that? Hmm. Want to know why you won't do that? Because you already know what's going to happen to your ass. You already know not to do it but see her she feels she can do it and get away with it and still get employed what are y'all gonna do i'm expressing myself you can't punish me i am a black woman can't tell me nothing who do y'all think y'all are you gonna punish me and there lies the issue so if florida a and m can't do nothing with her you think she gonna listen to a brother like you <sighs> uh-oh but guys what do you think it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of the Slurry Junk. We're out.